Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out our latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2, which is KB5039302, and I posted on this update, and that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. Now, unfortunately, once again, we have another issue. And this is now an official issue that's been listed now over on Microsoft's known issue health dashboard page, where Microsoft has said now that the June non-security preview update, which is this update, might cause devices to restart repeatedly. And this was um, listed as a known issue the day after the update rolled out on the 26th of June. Now, Microsoft has this to say that after installing KB5039302, some devices might fail to start. Affected systems might restart repeatedly and require recovery operations in order to restore normal use. Now, this is unfortunate because with our Patch Tuesday security updates that rolled out for Windows 10 and Windows 11 uh, earlier this month, uh, as far as I can remember, Windows 10 had a known issue, which I posted on. And now with the optional C release updates rolling out near the end of June, earlier this week, we now have Windows 11 with an issue. So it seems that every update that rolls out, there is some problem or other um, that the update causes, which is unfortunate because this has given Microsoft quite a bad rep. And obviously I'm noticing quite a lot of comments on the channel um, where obviously users are not impressed. Um, it seems that updates for some cause more issues than what they're actually trying to fix. But nonetheless, um, Microsoft carries on to say that this issue is more likely to affect devices utilizing virtual machines, tools, and nested virtualization features such as Cloud PC, DevBox, Azure, and Virtual Desktop. And they say they are investigating to determine, to determine the precise conditions under which this issue can trigger. And users of Windows 11 Home Edition are less likely to experience this issue as virtualization is less common in home environments. And I'm using Windows 11 Home Edition um, on this machine, so I haven't noticed any issues when it comes to restarting. But this looks like it's mainly affecting um, devices utilizing virtual machines. So it seems that this may be affecting more the minority than the majority, but nonetheless is a known issue. And obviously, because we like to keep you posted, uh, just to keep you updated regarding this issue. And once again, Microsoft say they are working on a resolution and will provide an update in an upcoming release. So we hope that by the time we get to Patch Tuesday next month in July, which is the 9th of July, that fix would have rolled out. And the affected platforms, as mentioned, are Windows 11, 23H2 and 22H2. And if I get any more info regarding this, obviously I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.